Guarantee and by, by, that, by soft game, right? It becomes important two on twos, one be, uh, two on ones. It's important one v ones, but like I'd rather make you aware of it right now so we can get into grappling, get done with the day, and we'll deal with it more in detail when it's going to be happening a lot more. All right. So uh, rail rolls, right? Uh, there's a there's a bunch of different reasons that I might want to use a rail roll. These are used both offensively and defensively. Um, and we'll go over some of the, the reasons for both uh, coming up, but let's just talk about uh, the rail roll for right now. All right. So rail roll is just anytime I want to be on the other side of Craig, right? But here's the problem: we just talked about the fact that like if I come off the rail, Craig likes to throw me, right? So. Um, we need to learn to do that explosively and in a single move. Um, and we need to drill it in a way that it becomes second nature because it is such a threatening position to be in. I need to be in it and out of it before Craig can really do anything to counter me. All right? Uh, all right I think that basically covers it. And reasons like I could be doing it because he started to separate me from the rail, and I don't think I can get back, so I'm going to go to that side before he throws me. Right? I'm going to try to hit it right now. Let's go. Uh, I might do it because there are five people on this side of the field and me and Craig right here, and I don't like that. Uh, I am not a fan of the fact that everyone on the field is behind me and in front of Craig. Right? I don't care if most of them are my teammates. Right? So maybe I rail roll there just so that Craig can be the one that's uncomfortable about the fact that he's not looking at people behind him. Right? I also may do it to try to get him to let go of hooking the rail on this side, follow me, and maybe I can set something up, all right? There's a bunch of reasons to do it. We're not going over all that right now. We're just going to go, this is how we do it, all right? So, rail roll. Uh, I prefer to reach under with an underhook. I believe it is a more direct path to the rail. You can go over, you can go around, if you can go under, I think it is better, all right? So if we're fighting here, I always want to take the, the outside arm and leg, and I'm going to shoot it past Craig. My goal is to get past the danger zone as fast as possible. Where is the danger zone? Pretty much anywhere to here, right? This is really bad. Once I get to right about here, I'm probably safe. It's not perfect. But I'm getting to probably say. And so I really want to get past this zone as fast and as cleanly as possible. So I shoot a uh, field side arm under like this when it happens. Boom. At the same time, I'm going to shoot my leg and I'm going to try to shoot it straight through on the first step. All right? When I do this, I normally check my person into the rail slightly and I'm looking to grab the rail on the other side to complete this roll. I want it tight. I do not want to go like, because <laughs> he's got up so much time to then be like, oh, this is great. You're definitely going to get thrown here, right? So I'm here, underhook to this rail, big step, all right? At this point, I can basically just recover, all right? I need to make sure that I have this hook because he does technically still have an arm over and he can do something. But once I have this hook, we can recover and I can be on the other side of the river, right? For whatever reason I want to. Anything to add to this before we do stuff? It's a, just, guys, this is just a required move. Like you've got to learn it. It's just it's there's nothing too crazy about it. The goal is to just go from one side of the rail to the other side of the rail, pick the guy. There's multiple different ways to do it. That's the most efficient way, the way Brett got it, learn that and then evolve it how you Practice, practice, practice. I'd probably get a quarter of my takedowns on people trying to go to the other side and doing it poorly. Yeah, there's that too. I feel like a quarter is probably correct of people just circling this way and moving forward. Um, it's easily punishable if you are not doing it correctly, and it's also easy to do correct. It's an easy this thing is, to realize. This is a that require move. And yet, I want you to do it as well. <laughs> so, so it's just one of those things. You have to know how to do it. You have to know when to do it. Uh, against a good fighter, I want you to do it because I'm waiting for it. I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm looking for that takedown from the rail roll. 
still got to know how to do it. I, the railroad has saved me a million times. It has set up offensive tax from the railroad. It has set up so many takedowns going, doing the railroad. Not defending it, but doing it. It is, it is a positional thing that you have to know how to do. Yep. Um, do we want to drill this? Do we just want to grab it? Let's just grapple. Let's just we'll grapple. And if you want to do some rail rolls, play with them. Why 